In California and much of the western U.S. is really dry and we're desperate for water all the time as our population increases. We've identified a, a windfall bounty of water, a much larger pool of fresh water here in California, especially right here in the Central Valley, than people know about. And much of this groundwater that hasn't been accounted for is between about 1,000 and 3,000 feet. And we identified this pool of water about three times more than the state thought was there using historical oil and gas records. Typically people don't look for groundwater below a few hundred feet or so. So the previous estimate for California that the state uses only went down to at most a thousand feet and in many places in the state quite a bit shallower than that. A second result that we found was a surprising amount of oil and gas activity directly into these freshwater aquifers. Companies inject volumes of water with chemicals and sand and other things in them to crack open the rock that holds the oil and gas. And it's those chemicals that could be left behind and the other things in that water that's injected that are of the concern. Another thing we do is use wells for injection. We, we inject wastewater back underground. How are we going to use this windfall, this bounty of water that we've identified? What safeguards will we put in place to protect it? In the Central Valley in Kern County, which is the breadbasket of the U.S. and also the, the core of oil and gas drilling in California, we found about one-fifth or 20 percent of the cases of drilling and chemical injection and oil and gas activity in freshwater drinking quality water. So we're not talking about a small percentage of cases. We're talking about a lot. The oil and gas industry is essentially the only industry that's allowed to inject chemicals directly into drinking water. We should talk about whether that's in the best interest, especially of states like California, where water is so precious.